Oh, they looks like they are now coming out. We see a bodyguard coming out. Uh, we see everybody's uh, getting ready to see, stand. Uh, there and there it we is. go. Benjamin Netanyahu and walks out the, the door with President Rivlin. Clearly, he gets the first shot yep. at forming a government. Uh, Some deja vu since April. Let's tune in and hear what the Israeli president and Benjamin Netanyahu have to say as Rivlin, for the second time in just within six months, gives Benjamin Netanyahu the mandate to form a government. I will give Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu the nomination. Thank you. Mr. Prime Minister, ministers, the media, after consulting the representatives of all parties, I can announce that the outgoing Prime Minister, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, will be given the mandate to form the next government. After the consultations, it turns out that there are no 61 votes needed to form a government, not for Prime Minister and outgoing Prime, Mi Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and not to former Chief of Staff Benny Gantz. The law is meant to help assemble a government as soon as possible, and therefore the decision depends on the question who has the bigger chances of being able to form a government. In the current state of affairs, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was supported by 55 members of parliament, and Benny Gantz got the support of 54 members of Knesset. Only that 10 of the supporters of Benjamin of Benny Gantz have announced that they will not sit with him in government. And therefore, all 55 of the supporters of Benjamin Netanyahu have announced they will sit in government with him. Israel Beitenu of Avigdor Libman did not support any of the candidates. Therefore, the ability of Parliament member Benjamin Netanyahu to assemble a government is greater at the moment. And therefore, I have decided to give you the opportunity to form a government. The decision not to postpone this assembling of the government is after a meeting I held with former Chief of Staff Benny Gantz, and after you both asked me to make the decision. It is important to say that after the results of the last elections, the fact that neither of the parliament members received 61 recommendations, appointing one of the candidates is not the solution. It is essentially not the solution. By, and yet, by uh, giving the mandate to one of them, the responsibility stays upon both of them to solve this political deadlock and form a government. The keys to form an Israeli government are now in the hands of all the public representatives and all parties. It does not matter who will be given the chance to form a government first. And if I need to, who will be the second to be given the chance? As long as the boycotts of entire publics in the Israeli society are not stopped, as long as there is no motivation to create new alliances, as long as there will be no real will to reach agreements, to compromise, unfortunately no government will be formed.
ואילו על ידי קריאת עיתון במצב הפוליטי בישראל. עליכם לדעת שבין יתר ההצעות שאמרו לפניי The offers at my hand, I offered both candidates to form a united government, an equal government, without an advantage to one block of over the other. I also offered that the law will be changed and a meaning will be given and an authority will be given to uh, the uh, substitute of the prime minister. And so that in every moment in which the prime minister cannot fulfill his job, the deputy will be will become prime minister. I also asked that the law will be fixed so that uh, a prime minister that, is, uh, that cannot uh, do his job will not be uh, limited to 100 days. Should a prime minister leave his job, he will remain Prime Minister, but his authorities will be given to his deputy. That was my suggestion in order to solve this crisis. This was my offer, which I present now to the public. We give the Likud candidate, the Prime Minister, to be the first to try to assemble a government. I took into consideration the fact that both the Likud and the Blue and White will give back the mandate should they not be able to form a government. Sir, you have 28 days starting tomorrow to form a new government. Should there be a clear justification the law enables the president to uh, give the candidate an extra 14 days to form the government. Otherwise, I can give the mandate to another person unless one of them tells me that they have succeeded. The candidate can tell me within 28 days that he did not succeed. In that case, the mandate goes to the Knesset that would need 61 signatures of supporters of one candidate, the Honorable Prime Minister. At least on one topic, the most of the public have decided. The people of Israel do not want additional elections. The people of Israel do not want additional elections, no matter their opinions, their political opinions. The importance of this time and the challenges facing us, Mr. Prime Minister knows what the challenges that we face are, the security, the political, the financial, the social, all of those challenges. Prime Minister Netanyahu and Parliament Member Netanyahu, Parliament Member Benny Gantz, the people of Israel must know it is possible to form a government. If we choose right, the people of Israel will pay the price. The people of Israel will ask why this happened. The people of Israel are surely those who would pay the price, the greatest price. This dear nation, with all the disagreements, this nation living in Israel, that lives in Zion, 
I wish you, the citizens of Israel, and Mr. Prime Minister, good luck. Thank you. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you, Mr. President. I accept the task you have given me. I do this with knowing that I do not have greater chances of forming a government. My inability to form a government is a little lesser than that of Benny Gantz. Both of us cannot form a government unless we do it together. What we need is a unity government, a wide unity government, and a quick one. Now I want to um, tell you why we need this unity, this national, for three reasons. This is vital. We've been through a rough election campaign to all sides, and we must unify the people because we face three major challenges that the public knows. The first is the security challenge. You see the nerves of Iran explicitly attacking. The maritime borders, very large areas in the Middle East. It attacks us from Iraq and from Syria and from Lebanon and from Gaza, and it attacks the international community with precise weapons. They are directed also at us. This creates a major security challenge. It is getting closer to us very quickly. We must join forces because the people needs to be unified and ready. Mr. President, we must prepare the people for a wide front. The second thing I wanted to talk about is the financial side that goes with what I just talked about. A balance of uh, the budget is something I've dealt with in much tougher times. I am certain it is in our strength to deal with that. We need a wide government ahead of the challenges of Iran. We will need to use budget for those challenges. This requires a wide national agreement in terms of the finance, in terms of the decisions. It would have been very hard to do that without a wide government. The financial challenges are the result of the security challenges. The third one is a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity that will not come back in 71 years of the State of Israel. It is doubtful whether we'll, have, whether we'll have another opportunity in the next 71 years. We must reach national agreements under, under Trump's peace plan. The opportunities to determine our borders through arrangements, 
versatile arrangements with the United States, the greatest superpower. This opportunity exists now. This is no spin. I speak from my heart and from my head. Out of years of experience, we have reached certain times that can give a response to the financial challenges and for a political opportunity that we didn't have before and will never have again. We, for this, we need a wide unity government. And I believe that everyone understands that no such opportunity will be given again. Therefore, I will make every effort to reach such unity with a joint leadership a government with certain arrangements, those interesting arrangements that the president has mentioned, that would guarantee this uh, shared leadership and the clear structure of two people who lead the nation. The quickness. I, I mean, we need to do this as quickly as possible. To my assessment, and one can be wrong, what the nation expects and what we could do very quickly. This government can be created very quickly. But as I say to you also in our meeting, several meetings, and also over the phone last night, and tonight in our meeting, should this government that we can create would not be created very quickly, it will probably only be created at the last moment, when people understand that there are no other opportunities, and therefore there is no reason to waste the time of the people, there is no reason to stretch more months. If I will not be able to assemble the government in the next few days, then we'll have to reach... And then when we all understand that there is no other choice but creating a unity government, then it will be established. Therefore, I will do everything in my power. And if I will not succeed, I will give back the mandate to you with God's help. We will create a wide unity government. I hope we will succeed this time. I thank you for those important conversations between us and the effort, the important effort, and crucial to create a wide unity government. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Happy New Year. Shana Tova. Have a blessed year. Thank you. There you have it, exactly five months after we saw that exact same scene with Israeli President Reuven Rivlin handing the mandate over to Benjamin Netanyahu to form a government. He is doing it once again, but the circumstances this time could not be more different. Rivlin had a week to make this decision, but he did not waste any time. Today, official results handed in. Right away, he gave him the mandate, but with a lot of caveats, namely saying that all parties now have the key and calling really very in, in very direct terms for Netanyahu and for all these parties to form a unity government. That is Benjamin Netanyahu's right-wing Likud party and the centrist blue and white party under Benny Gantz. A lot to unpack.